Hi guys, I'm here with a little quick um, tutorial for you um, on how I make a dashboard for Traveller's Notebooks. Um, I had this wonderful box from Lollipop Box Club, the Forever Dreaming one for January, and I am a massive cloud lover. And um, for me, I love to update my Traveller's Notebook um, dashboards, but they're a really, really good way of hoarding those papers that you just can't bear to use i'm pretty sure that most of us have got some of those papers that we just from wherever we've accumulated them we are just hoarding them because we are waiting for the perfect project um but the perfect project doesn't always come along and i've learned from my experience and so a way for me to use some of those papers that i hoard is to turn them into travelers um notebooks because in uh dashboards because then I get to see the beautiful papers every single day. So what I did is I selected the papers that I wanted to use as my dashboards and then I took out one of my inserts from my Travis notebook. I'm using a personal and I just uh, traced round in pencil on the reverse side so you can't see the pencil marks and I cut out um, two of one paper. They're going to be the outside of my cover. That's the design I like the most to be honest with you I did struggle to decide <laughs> which ones I like the most uh, but I think it was that cloud one so I did cut out two I used the binder clip just to clip the two papers together so they didn't move because I'm lazy and I just wanted to cut them both together I am using just a normal pair of scissors you could obviously use a guillotine like a paper cutter and you'd get much more accurate straight lines but um my paper cutter's in the other room and I'm lazy and it's just a really really quick project so I just grabbed my scissors and I want to encourage you to have a go at this because it is a really really quick project to do and something that's nice to kind of spruce up your planner um, so I then glued the two different papers um, together. The reason I do this is because I am not a fan of blank on the reverse side when it comes to dashboards. I like to have a pattern on the other side as well. So I just took the two designs and I glued them back to back, back to back. So I have a front cover and a back cover. And that is just my personal preference. It obviously does make it a lot thicker and a lot sturdier. So you don't have to do that. If you just want a single sided, then, um, you know, please do go ahead and just do a single sided. But I like the double. Um, and that's kind of it for, for the like the cutting part. The next bit is probably the one of the most difficult parts. And that is choosing whether to leave your papers plain as they are, which... For me was a very strong possibility because I do like the papers just as they are or whether you're going to decorate them and embellish them. As you see, I do choose to decorate and embellish um, embellish my papers. Um, so I started off by cutting out the little Forever Dreaming rainbow from one of the papers in the box. But then I was like, oh, I don't know. I wasn't sure that it went really well. I love the stickers. Um, but I didn't want to use the stickers because I wanted to use those in my planner pages as like a complete sticker set. Um, so I decided against using using the stickers, but maybe I should have done. I don't know. I do like the end result. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of like time kind of prancing around backwards and forwards, kind of looking at what works, what works for you, what's pleasing to you, what, to your eye, etc. Um, and yeah, in the end, I just decided to, to do a few strips of thin washi tape to kind of give like a um, pastel rainbow um, and then I added um, a cloud sticker and um, that was it really for the decoration. I had um, an idea to um, deconstruct the paper clip that came in the box and then hot glue it on after the lamination um, which looks really really well good as you will see in the final thing.
just remember that any of the decoration, the embellishments that you choose to put on the dashboard before the lamination, they need to be flat because it needs to go through the laminator. Um, so just bear that in mind. Obviously you can put 3D things on like I did after it's been laminated, um, but 3D things don't really go through the laminator very well. So yep, I turned my laminator on. My laminator takes an age because it's quite old now, um, but you just need to grab yourself a laminate sheet and you need to put the um, two sides, you need to work out, like make sure that you're laying it in the, um, into the laminate sheet like you would a book. So just make sure that you kind of know which side round you're doing it. So you need to place the two pieces down next to each other, but you need to leave about a centimeters um, gap between the two pieces of card. This will be your wrap around that goes around the spine of your insert. Obviously the more um, things that you've got in your, or in, that you want to put in between, the, the, the wider you may need your, um, your like spine, your wrap around to be. So just, just kind of bear that in mind. Maybe have a little bit of a test before you run it through the laminator. Obviously once it's been run through the laminator, um, that's, that's it then, it's too late. So once it's out of the laminator, I just trim off all the excess laminate sheet that I don't want. I try and cut it down um, quite close to the card. Um, obviously you don't want to cut it too close because sometimes if it hasn't sealed properly, it can kind of peel. Um, but yeah, I tend to cut it as close as possible. And I always run my dashboards back through the laminator again after I've cut them down. Just as kind of like a little, just to make sure that it's kind of like resealed anything that I might have... Um, unpeeled when um, when I did the cutting but it's just a little thing I like to do just to run it back through again make sure that it's all kind of nicely laminated and it's ready to go and as I said my laminator is quite old now so um, it's not it's prime of life so I just want to make sure that it's caught everything that it, it should have caught. Okay, so the next bit for me was to deconstruct the paper clip that came in the box. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the paper clip. I think it's gorgeous. Um, I do already have a paper clip, uh, uh, quite a few cloud paper clips, because um, I do like my clouds. And um, so I thought this would, I just saw it and just thought it would look a really nice as an embellishment on my traveler's notebook afterwards. So I tried to deconstruct it. And can I just say that these are so well made that it took me four ever to release the paper clip i did end up damaging it slightly um on the on the front um but i don't think you can really tell once in the in the finished thing so my advice to you <laughs> is um to have perhaps a, a finer point scissors and a little bit sharper the scissors that i was using in hindsight were a bit too big like on the end and not quite sharp enough so yeah if you want to deconstruct that make sure you've got like a really fine and sharp sharp scissors. I did manage to do it in the end though and I am really glad that I got it off because I just think it absolutely, you know, just works so well on the dashboard. Once I'd managed to release it from the paper clip, I gave it a little bit of a, a trim around the edges because I'd made it kind of go a bit fluffy with handling it so much because obviously it's felt. Um, so I just gave it a bit of a trim up and just kind of checked to make sure that it looked okay um, where I was planning on pot putting it. And then I covered the back of it in hot glue. <laughs> the hot glue, that I, the glue stick that I've still got in my hot glue gun is actually a silver sparkle. So that's kind of made me smile. Um, and then um, once that was all covered in glue, I adhered it down to my traveler's notebook in the place that I wanted it to go. And I absolutely love it. I'm so glad I decided to do that. I think it just looks absolutely amazing. And hopefully because it's hot glued on there and you know, it shouldn't really, come off I don't think so that's that's good I think it will last quite a while but I can always hot glue it on again if I want to so so yeah so that's it that's my little little quick DIY project for my traveler's notebook um so all that's left now is to um put it in its proper and rightful pride of place in my traveler's notebook the hardest part really is kind of deciding whereabouts to put it in your traveler's notebook whether you want it at the front or in the middle section or wherever you want it wherever you want it um 
I have a, a dashboard already in, well, I have a couple actually, normally they're folders, but one of the dashboards I've already got, um, I bought a sticky pen loop um, and stuck it to, um, to the dashboard. So if you don't have a pen loop on your traveler's notebook, using a dashboard is, and sticking a pen loop on it is a really good way to um, add a pen to your planner. So thanks for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I hope you have a go at making one yourself. Bye.